Hi, I'm Dr. Phil Gillen and from LifeSpring Wellness Center in Bloomington, Minnesota, and I'd like to take a few minutes and talk about chronic problems. I function as a wellness coach. That means that people come from all around the area to see me after they have seen a number of other doctors. Nobody really comes to see me right off the bat. They usually try other doctors and other types of therapies before they come to our office. And so I want to describe briefly what we do and how this works. First of all, in order to really understand what's going on, you first have to define what health is. Now most people think that health is feeling good, and it is true that if you feel good, that is a component of health. But you can't judge your health just on how you feel. Let me give you an example. Probably most of you have either known of or heard of somebody that seemed healthy as can be and yesterday they had a heart attack. Or you've known of somebody or have heard of someone who you saw a month ago and all of a sudden now you hear they have cancer. Now how could that be if they felt and looked good and then all of a sudden a problem developed? Well, that's simply because feeling is only one part of health. What's really most important is how you're functioning. So function is, is more important than feeling. Obviously, if you're functioning at 100%, you're going to feel very good. So let me give you an example. If your immune system was functioning at 100% all the time, would it be possible for you to get cancer? Now the answer to that is no. If your immune system was functioning at 100%, it would identify those cancer cells and rid of them. Because you know, we always, every day, we have cancer cells in our body, and our immune system is there to get rid of them. But if your immune system is not functioning right, first it has to dysfunction before you could get something like cancer. Well, it works that way with many other health problems. In fact, almost all health problems are due to your body's inability to function properly or dysfunction. So, here's how that works. At 100% functioning, everything's working. All the systems are working fine together. When you lose function, let's say 90%, if you're down at 90%, well, then you're still going to feel quite well. In fact, it's not possible to always be functioning at 100%. You have to lose quite a bit of function before you get a symptom. So let's just say that if you lose 40% of function, now you're functioning at 60%. Now at 60%, you get a symptom. Now what is a symptom? It's something telling you that there's a problem. It's an alarm system. Now if the alarm system goes out in your house, what do you do with the alarm system? You have two choices. Find out what's causing the alarm, like a fire for example, or let's just knock that pesky alarm system. It's making too much noise. Now you, you laugh and say, well I'd be crazy. Or what if the, the lights come on in your car, you know, the idiot lights in your car. The oil light comes on. So what do you do? You just say, let's put some tape over it and not listen to it? Of course you wouldn't. But what happens with us as human beings is that we tend to get the symptoms. We go to a doctor and instead of figuring out why you're having an alarm, why you're having a symptom, we're giving a solution for it called a drug. So we take a drug for our symptom. And that drug knocks out the symptoms because drugs have been proven to get rid of symptoms. So let's say you have headaches. You go in, you have headaches. You get Imitrex. Gets rid of the headaches. The symptom, the alarm. Because remember, symptoms are alarms. But what does it do to the functioning of the body? The reason that you're getting the symptoms is because your body's not functioning properly. It's still not functioning properly. So now, 
Your body says, I'm trying to get the attention here. So now maybe you get some stomach problems, gastric problems, heartburn. So you go in with your symptom and you get, let's say, Prilosec. And sure enough, Prilosec makes you feel good. You can, you can eat whatever you want. You can take some Prilosec and before you go to McDonald's and you know, eat some junk food and feel just fine. But what have you done? You've knocked out another alarm system. You've put some duct tape. You put some duct tape over. You put some duct tape over the symptom. There we go. Some duct tape. Now, if you did that in your car with your fire alarm, you, you, people would think you're strange. But we don't think so when we're dealing with health, human health. All right. So now let's say you get another symptom. Let's say you get arthritis. You know, you get that joint pain, like the golfer on TV. Now you go get Embro. But you listen to Embro. Listen to the ad. Don't take this if you have TB. If you have a viral infection, don't take this. You could, this will suppress your immune system, and you could get cancer as a result of this. You could get really sick. You could die taking this, but it's going to help that health. It's kind of like, you know, if the fire alarm goes off, you know, you can, you can, you can put plugs in your ears or knock out the alarm, well, your house might burn down, but at least it won't bother your ears. So what do we learn about this? Well, we find that our healthcare system relies primarily on the suppression of symptoms through the use of drug therapy. And as a result of that, are we any healthier? Well, we're not. So what I do is work at functional level. So I evaluate the functions of various systems in your body. We have various ways of doing them. We have metabolic ways of doing that through various types of testing, like a blood test, for example. We can do very thorough, comprehensive blood tests. We have other, other tests that are available. We also do brain testing because your brain and your neurology controls and regulates all the parts of the body. So we first have to uncover What's causing your problem? The why. Get at the cause of the problem versus just working on the symptom. So if this makes sense, come in and see us. Now let me go over one additional thing here that's important. What are we going to look for? Well, let's say you have some type of problem you're concerned about. So what do we have to look for? Well, we're going to give you a questionnaire to evaluate various factors. Like we're going to evaluate your digestive system. We're going to look at your immune system. You could have blood sugar problems. You could have hormone imbalances. Your liver might not be detoxifying properly. And on and on and on. Your brain may not be functioning properly. In other words, you might be in the stress mode. So once we find out the pieces of the puzzle, uncover whatever's going on with you functionally, and then we apply natural means to improve the functioning of your body, guess what happens to how you feel? Fix the function, then you truly are going to feel healthy. And by that, here's what I notice people really want out of life. They want energy. They want joy. And they want to be able to focus. So that's really what makes life more, more important, more willing to live, to get your focus, to get your joy, to get your energy back. And that's done by finding out what is not functioning properly and then correcting the underlying dysfunctions. So thanks for listening and we hope to see you soon. Bye.